Hello from Tours. Welcome to our lesson. Today I want to teach about summarizing. We've done summary in class, but as a skill, it's such an important skill that we need to learn and perfect on it. So our lesson today will focus mainly on the following objectives. One, by the end of the lesson, uh, I want you to be in a position to uh, be able to define what a summary is, then list the steps of creating a summary. When you list such steps, you'll be in a position to work out or to summarize any lesson or any passage that you are required to do a summary about then we'll also I'll also guide you in creating a sample summary so in this third uh, point I will guide you through on how to do a summary but then you as a student by the end of it you'll be able to pick up pieces of information and shorten the passage as required okay let's dive into the lesson and look at the definition the summary can be tie, can be defined as a shortened version a shortened version of a passage written in one's own words am i lighting this one in blue so that you can see written in one's own words meaning you have to read that person uh, passage but use your own words in writing a summary a summary covers the essential points of the original text here i'm talking about essential points important points these are the points that you are asked if the question asked then you are supposed to focus on those particular points but you they must come from the original text original passage that you give it don't make something up but rather use the information from the text a summary also present large chunks of information in short cohesive sentences you see you have let's say you have 600 word passage this one can be summarized into or condensed into 150 word uh, passage much more shorter and cohesive focusing mainly on the essential points okay now a summary can be used for these particular purposes i know you're asking yourself why do i have to write a summary yeah as a scholar you'll be writing in your studies let's say college you'll have to uh, get this skill and put it in to practice it doesn't matter the subject that you're learning or the course that you're taking but you'll be in a position to summarize whatever information that you're reading or gathering so it presents the information concisely that means with clarity there's a clear way in which you need to get information then it states the main or essential points without any detailed explanation no detailed explanation by this i mean you leave examples illustration or other details out then you can refer to a body of work maybe you're doing a research in a book then you can summarize that particular book then it also gives an example of several points of view on a subject so let's say you're doing the research and there are several books that you've read and each of these particular books they have their own points of view let's take our current situation that has put us at home about the COVID-19 so different uh, uh, medical professions 
I've written articles about this particular pandemic. And uh, if you want to get information, you can read so many sources, then pick those, those particular points of view. Maybe doctors from United Kingdom of this particular opinion, the ones from America, the ones from France, the ones from Somaliland, they have different opinions. So those several opinions can be put. They all about one subject, which is COVID-19. So these are the guidelines to writing a summary. What are you supposed to do when you get a question? Don't panic. Or when you are reading a book and you have to come up with a summary, don't panic. Just guidelines. Uh, use this guideline. This very simple, straightforward. First, you read the text. Okay, that you've been given. Then make a note of keywords or main points of the argument topic sentence. So this one, we can say that you can all even annotate. Okay. Some people can tell you that annotate, okay? Annotate means you underline them, okay? So annotate. Then try to form a brief outline. So with those particular points which you've underlined or you have annotated, you try to write a brief outline. That's the draft, the first draft. Then use that particular outline to form a summary. Such a simple like that. But remember this, that you use your own language, your own language, okay, to convey the ideas. Your own language to convey the ideas. Your own language to convey. To convey means to present, okay, to give those ideas. Okay, one thing that you can do, you can keep some keywords from the original text and accordingly you can give a title. I'm just saying accordingly, if you feel that you can't give a title, yes, you're allowed to uh, leave a summary with that title. Then avoid using technical language. Don't use a lot of technical vocabulary. What I want you to use is simple and understandable English. That is it. Don't say that, oh, I don't understand how to these particular words. Use simple and understandable English. Then, when writing it, remember that it must be objective and written in the third person. For example, you can say, if you've read several articles about COVID-19, then you say uh, many doctors have different opinions about the virus. Okay, they say the virus like that. Not, don't use first person like I have read. No, don't use I. Use the third person. Let that particular. Uh, summary speak for itself. Illustrations, these are examples, explanations, or even charts, leave them out. The quotations, if they're there, omit them. Omission here means you leave them out. Don't, don't write them. Don't write them. We focus on picking only the most important points. Then you replace the long phrases with single words. If you find, for example, somebody talks about uh, 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 a disease that spreads across a population or throughout the world, just don't, that's, that phrase can be simply replaced by the word pandemic only. So you replace the single word pandemic, meaning a disease that spreads across the world or nations like that. Then write a rough draft after you've written a rough draft. But when writing, you follow the original organization of the text. Yeah, so from paragraph one, all the information will come in. Paragraph one, paragraph two, three, four, like that. So you follow that original okay, organization of the text. 
then you can now compare your summary with the original text for accuracy because the information that you're giving must be accurate then checked check the draft in that if there are spelling mistakes this way we mess a lot so spelling mistakes must be corrected as well as the punctuation and grammatical errors if you have them you have to to check them out check them and correct them then write a fair draft so this fair draft i want it to be written in prose form okay write in prose which means you write in paragraphs paragraphs that is it you write it in paragraphs you write it in paragraphs so i want us to look at this question i'll guide you through understanding the question then also try to help you in annotating the text that is highlighting the points that are asked uh, uh, if you look at the question so the question reads this way you're doing a project for your teacher recycling scheme recycling recycling means you use again recycling means you use again for example let's say I have uh, this bottle okay I bought water okay and I bought it this water here but now I've, uh, I've drunk water it's no longer water but you can use it for other means you can use it maybe you can refill it let's say juice and you you can use it again so that's what you call recycling so you don't throw something away but you recycle you use again okay so this art article is all about recycling okay so you're told in your summary you must write the aim of the free cycle was the aim how the free cycle works and how free cycle has developed since 2003 so this is our text free cycle remember the first point i'm going to use three colors if you look at it okay so this blue for the first uh point the aim of free cycle so i've highlighted this one free cycle is one uh, is one of a number of websites that aim to reduce the amount of rubbish sent to landfills so at this stage i'm simply highlighting i don't do much i don't interpret then as i continue reading the second point here how it works how does it work you've seen that one i've also underlined with a different color here it work this is the way it works simply giving things to people who want them okay down here i've also seen another part how it works of the same color this point two how it works so the money is not involved you can see but a kind of auction takes place to see who who situation most deserve the pc so that from this example i read that uh, uh, the person giving the person uh, uh, the things free uh, they get involved in more uh, like an auction or oh, i want it because of this another person i want it because of this then they see who wants it the most then that's the person who will be the highest bidder so you can see here then it's much more of a charitable end by asking members to accept a freebie than putting up something for an offer so let's say i have my computer okay then i need a sofa sofa set so i have to put my computer because instead of throwing it yeah it can be used by another person but i also need a sofa set so another person maybe wants to replace his or her furniture so we'll need that so that is how it works so you can see how it works that's in that particular color then 
uh, the third one I think I decided to use yellow say how FreeBS developed since 2003 so from 2003 how it developed a creation of Darrell uh, Darren Bale then here then it has developed over time now it has 1.2 million members across the internet okay who they now auction houses so it's been something uh, uh, auction house and a global chain of shops so the different shops okay so if you lo looked at what I've done there what I've done is simply highlighting the most important okay points to help you write that sample so as you read it which I'll attach a word document to this video this is what I want you to do okay one you'll be reading that text again so make notes so annotate so you've seen how I've done with those three different color blue and uh, 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 there's also purple as well as uh, yellow so I've annotated the text trying to find the areas that the points are asking then those are the ones that I'll, I want you to use in trying to to form your own outline so don't don't don't, don't rush but rather just relax read the question understand the question about the freebie then form a summary write the point then whatever you've written you write in full uh, paragraphs so that's what i have for today as we end i want you to stay safe and be safe always